It's Will Anderson. Before I start, can I tell you, just before I start, I just saw the funniest bit of graffiti on the back of the toilet door back here. It just said in big letters, I rooted your mum. Now, I admit, by itself, not that clever. But underneath, in different handwriting, somebody had written, Dad, you pissed, go home. <laughs> not the funniest sign I saw, though. The funniest sign I saw was last year at the soccer in England. Remember Australia playing England at soccer? And England was so cocky, this was their chance to beat us at something for... And it was just 20,000 English fans cocky there. And six Aussies who'd gone to the game, but they had a banner. And it was like the funniest banner ever. It just said, if you lose this, you're officially shit at everything. <laughs> Speaking of shit at everything, uh, my God, I rang the other day, I rang that uh, Telstra um, you know, computerised directory assistance. You know, the voice recognition, that just does not recognise, my God. I rang out the other day, I was like, I, 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 just, I, I, I said, can I have the operator? And I said, I'm sorry, I did not recognise that. I shall now put you through to an operator. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you ask for, it's just shit, isn't it? I, the other day I asked, I said, oh, can I have the ABC please? And it did, did you say, Frankston lesbian midget waxing service? <laughs> nah, but put me through. <laughs> Oh, speaking of waxing, hasn't everyone just gone nuts for waxing? Like, people are just mad for like the Brazilian getting waxy around the jacksy. People, somebody said to me the other day, Will, are you going to get a back sack and crack wax? I don't even know what the hell that is. <laughs> to me, that sounds like something off the new taste menu at McDonald's. <laughs> is it back sack and crack time now? <laughs> Things that make you go, ah! It's all the different names that freak with my head, you know? They have all the different names. Like, there's the one which is the long line of hair. They call that the landing strip. That scares the shit out of me. I don't want a girl with a landing strip. If she's got a landing strip, I think maybe when I undo my pants, she's expecting to see a jumbo. <laughs> Instead of the single engine light aircraft <laughs> that I want cleared for landing. I can just imagine a girl with a landing strip lying on the bed with a couple of paddles going, bring it in. <laughs> My ankles are here and here. <laughs> oh, and uh, you know what the other one freaks me out? The tiny little tuft. Freaks me out, because if you're having oral sex, it kind of feels like you're making out with Hitler. And, uh, <laughs> but apparently the big thing now is to get shapes. Have you heard about this? You get shapes, you get like a love heart or your boyfriend's initials. Oh, no. But here's what you can do, because I've heard that some Aussie blokes might not be very good at oral sex. So, here's what you do. Girls, if your bloke's no good at oral sex, get a little shape down there. I recommend the Microsoft help icon. <laughs> that way he's down there, he's not doing a very good job. You just go, bing. Excuse me, it looks like you are trying to please me sexually. <laughs> Would you like some help? <laughs> but, uh, but the caller ID, this is the thing with the caller ID, the Telstra caller ID, that's what I was talking about. Um, the, the, the Telstra caller ID, we, we, go, we all just accept it, don't we? Even though it was a more shit system than the last one. Like, we all just go, well, what can we do about it? You know, just one person. But there's 3,000 people in this room tonight, and there's a million people watching at home. We could make a difference. If you don't like the new Telstra caller ID, here's what you do. Don't pay your Telstra bill. <laughs> no, I'm serious about that. That's the only way they learn. Because what happens if you don't pay your Telstra bill? A month from now, they'll send you a reminder notice with $5 extra added on, because that's how much it costs for a stamp in Telstra land. <laughs> A month later, another reminder notes. One more month. This is where the fun starts, because this is when they call you. Hi, Cindy from Telstra. You haven't paid your Telstra bill. You have to pay your Telstra bill. We're going to disconnect your phone. You have to pay your Telstra bill. You owe us $165. That's when you say, did you say two bananas and a chip packet? <laughs> Thanks, guys. Good night.